are you today? So today's video is going to be my budgeting video. So this is going to be for um, the last week of November, I mean sorry October, my last pay week that is. So that will be from Thursday the 28th of October which is today to Wednesday the 3rd of November. So that is my pay week. But before we do that let's go over last week. So this is last week, you guys. Um, so let's get into this. So, um, I didn't end up doing, making a minimum of $30 on surveys. And that is because when I filmed this, this was on Thursday the 21st. And I filmed it in the morning before I had went to get my uh, second uh, Pfizer vaccine. And I didn't realize how sick I was going to get. I was pretty sick over the weekend. And I actually um, spent a majority of the weekend in bed. Um, I even had to take Sunday off of work because of how sick I got. So I honestly didn't do as many surveys as I thought I would. Um, and then when I went back to work, I was just so busy for, at work and then so exhausted by the time I got home that this just was not my focus. Um, I did actually make $20, but when bloody PayPal, which they never used to do this, but they obviously are now. So I made $20 in surveys, but when you transfer the money from PayPal to your own account, they charge me 25 cents, those jerks. So yeah <laughs> um i didn't end up listing any items on ebay because like i said i've been really sick um and but i did list my planner um inserts on etsy so i am pleased with that so if you are interested in any of the the budgeting ones or the christmas planner inserts um they are live in my etsy store i will link my etsy store down below um i do currently have 10 percent off um, all purchases at the moment so if you are interested um, there is a discount code so it's just EOY10 uh, so end of year 10 um, so if you're interested all the links will be down below uh, so you can go check that out I would greatly appreciate it if you did obviously I don't expect you to but if you do it would be like hugely hugely appreciated uh, because I do want to try and get my Etsy up and running again and this will also help me with like you know budgeting and money and all those types of things but obviously don't feel obligated to if you don't want to um, okay so from work I got uh, $407.06 from surveys I got $19.75 so in total I made $426.81 for last pay. Um, these were all of my bills here. So I had a total of $366.49. And then over here is all of my expenses. So um, essentially I spent $502.29. Now I know you're thinking but you only had $426.81, so how did you spend $502? Well, let's go through this. Um, so I had my go card, which was public transport for work, so I did spend $20 there. Groceries, which was $52.57, which is my share. Um, and then I had Spotlight, $31.29. I did buy fish and chips for lunch on Thursday. Um, I also had McDonald's for breakfast the next day, which is totally bad, I know. <laughs> um, then I had to pay $16.50 for Lady Shake. I had $15 for electricity, uh, $197.50 for my half of the rent for the week, uh, $23.91 for Scrap Boutique, 22.48 for washi gang and then I caved and on my shopping list here I had Hobie yarn I had um, 
estimated roughly about 120 but it came to about 104 or something like that so the first payment has come out for that which was 2622 and I'll tell you why it's highlighted yellow in a second uh, then I had scrap boutique which was $17.82 uh, Woolworths which is our supermarket $7.36 that is because I bought food when I was at work uh, Disney was $11.99, Amazim was $30, which is my mobile phone, and then the very last thing was Woolworths, which was $11.70, because I bought lunch for work. Okay, so the reason why these two are highlighted in yellow is because I paid for those not using any of this money. So I do have a Bills sub-account, which had um, a small amount of money in there, and... I knew that all of my bills plus whatever I spent outside of my bills like groceries, work lunches, that type of thing would cost more than I physically had. <laughs> um, but I, like I said, I do actually have a bill sub account and from time to time I put money in there if I have any leftover money so that way if something like this happens where I have more things coming out than I have money for then the bill sub account will pay for some of these items so it did pay for this and this bill um, there and then um, I had $24 um, from another sub account that I had um, transfer in, like transferred into my account because I had used it to pay for something for Nate and then Nate transferred me the money back and instead of putting it back into my sub account I just left it in my main account which got gobbled up by all of this so um, overall I spent um, let's see here let me work this out hold on you guys um, so in total I had okay so 502.29 so in total all of this cost $502.29 but my bank account has something called uh, like a roundup on it so anytime I spend an item in there as long as there's more than $20 in my bank account so say for instance here $197.50 was rent right so because there's 50 cents left over to um, until you get to the nearest dollar which would be 198 50 cents would then be transferred into my sub account so it rounds out to the nearest dollar so i had four dollars and 74 cents in roundups so technically i spent 507 dollars and three cents so four dollars and seventy four cents went into my savings account in my like it's just a savings sinking fund like a sub account and then five hundred and two dollars and twenty nine cents was spent here and then eighty dollars and twenty two cents I used to pay for like some of these things um, came from my sub accounts and then four hundred and twenty six dollars and eighty one cents came from my income so that just gives you an idea of what last week was like so let's move on to this week you guys okay so my income for this week is actually a lot less than last week because i had to call in sick so um because of the stupid pfizer vaccine um so i have less money this week so I had estimated that I was going to get paid 371 but then I had to call in sick so I actually got paid 344.32. See not a lot you guys when you call in sick on a Sunday because that means you lose Sunday rate because on a Sunday and I don't mind talking about how much I earn because it's literally like you can literally google it and see how much I earn so it's not like it's a huge secret I know people get really really like uncomfortable talking about money and like their personal earnings but really 
it's stupid. It's all money. We all make money. We all spend money. We all at some point in our lives make stupid money decisions and we can literally Google everyone's incomes <laughs> to a certain degree. So it's not like it's a huge secret. So people need to stop feeling uncomfortable talking about money because this is the reason why most of us are in the positions we're in because we've always been taught that it's such a bad thing to talk about money and it's not. So um, I, on a Sunday, I earn, what is it, like $33 something an hour, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but it's about 30 something, about 33.22 or something like that an hour. Um, and then obviously if I call in sick, I still get paid, but I just don't get paid the Sunday rate. I will get paid my normal rate, which is $22 something an hour. Now keep in mind this is Australia and yes I'm well aware that um, like how much I get paid an hour is huge compared to other countries but you need to keep in, in mind though just because I get paid a huge amount per hour does not mean I get paid a lot because the cost of living in Australia is way higher than a lot of other countries. So just keep that in mind. So um, this week I do have surveys coming through so again i'm just gonna put twenty dollars because i know definitely for sure twenty dollars is coming um and like i said i'm not tallying this up yet and i won't write anything in here yet because i don't know exactly how much but i am definitely aiming higher than twenty dollars um okay so let's go to bills shall we so the very first thing i have is rent so we're going to just write rent in and rent is $197.50. That never changes and that was due today so that's already handled. Um, then I have, let's see, um, I'm just trying to think. Um, I'm just trying to remember what my color code was. Okay, so I have Washi Gang. That's already come out. That came out of my account automatically this morning. So Washi Gang, if this is the first video you're watching of mine, is an online planner store slash craft store here in Australia. And that one was 38 19 and I have already paid that one so that's that the next thing I have is electricity that is due tomorrow but I technically already pay that because rent um well I haven't paid it yet I mean I have the money sitting there for it so rent comes out of Nate's account so he pays so I transfer my share of rent to Nate and then he it, um, he pays from his account for that and then electricity comes out of my account automatically um, so he transfers his share of that to me um, so that'll come out tomorrow I've got the money sitting aside but yeah Okay, the next one is um, just trying to think. What was the next one? I'm totally blanking on my color coding, you guys. I'm the worst. Let me check my plan on. Red. Okay. So the next one is Hobie, which is a yarn place, an online yarn store in Denmark. Um, so Hobie will be coming out. This one, and so red for me is yarn and craft supplies. Um, so that is thirty-one seventy-three. Okay. Uh, the next thing I have is. Um, JB Hi-Fi because I it's my very last payment actually of JB Hi-Fi because I bought a Kindle so I bought this 
Um, I love this Kindle. It's seriously one of the best things I bought. It was $129. Um, and because I read a lot, I wanted it. So I have, that was the cheapest I had seen the Kindle, so I snabbed it. So I'm going to put that in entertainment because it's entertainment. So JB Hi-Fi. Okay, so payment for that is $32.25. And that is my last payment on that. So that bill will be gone after I pay that on Saturday that comes out. Okay, and then the very last bill I have for the month is zip pay. Um, and that is... $40. So if you're not aware of what zip pay is, zip pay is basically like um, a buy now pay later situation where you can get your stuff instantly and then pay it off. Um, the difference though with zip pay and after pay is, is after pay you have to pay off the full amount over four payments. Whereas zip pay, you only have to pay a minimum of $40 a month. But you do get charged a, I think it's either a 6 or a $7 fee every month if the full balance isn't paid off by the end of the month. Um, so it's essentially like a credit card. Um, it is a line of credit, put it that way. Uh, so there's that. So the total for all of that this week. So this looks, if you have a look compared to like last week to this week, um, it doesn't look too full but 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 it still is fairly high so it's 354.67 so last week was 366.49 this week is 354.67 almost the same for less bills <laughs> um, because these ones are higher than what I had excused that a plane is going over um, so as you can see, all of just these bills is already more than what I earned for the week. I know it sucks. That's what happens though when you, unfortunately you are sick. Um, and now goes a train. <laughs> I swear you guys. So my goals this week, number one, like I said, I want to make a minimum of $30 on surveys. Two, I want to list unwanted items on eBay because I have a bunch of stuff that I don't want anymore so if I can make money out of it why not and then number three is no spend unless Xmas gifts now this doesn't mean I can't spend on food and stuff like that because I am going to Starbucks today um, because and before anyone judges me because obviously I can very clearly see my bills and my money and everything um, this week is the last week to get the pumpkin spice um, lattes and I get the pumpkin spice frappuccino because it's hot as hell in Australia and I haven't had one this season and I get one every year as a treat and they will stop selling it on the 31st which is Sunday so I'm going to get that today I don't care what people say um, and then so that's the only thing I'm going to be getting for myself for treating like treating myself and then um, but I won't be spending anything else on myself unless it's for what Xmas gifts or um, like planning and I don't mean just like oh like you know frivolous stickers or whatever I just mean like stuff that helps me plan and 
some people might think it's unnecessary for them but for me the way my brain works and how I visualize things I need certain things to help motivate me so that's why I do what I do which is why I will be getting survey money so there's that um, in my upcoming I still have the nutritionist appointment so I'm just typing in it's 160 but I'll be paying about 105 out of pocket um, to a PT appointment I don't know the total of that I think it's about a hundred and then I think that's all I have to worry about just yet okay now in my shopping section this is not like I said last week necessarily something I'm buying this week this is just things I either want or need and I keep them on the list so that I know I need them or want them and I can see when I can afford them obviously I can't afford them this week but that's okay so I need printer ink which is $35 just for the colored ink I need printer paper I use 100 GSM paper uh, so it's a little bit more expensive so it's about eight dollars um, I still need work pants I haven't got around to doing that yet so that's about thirty dollars I want to say um, and I know people will be like what but I collect um, all of the Christmas Lego villages and so I have a small Christmas Lego village and there goes another train oh my god and it's a diesel of course it's a diesel like the noisiest of trains I apologize you guys okay I'm just gonna keep talking because this diesel is just gonna go forever um, so yeah I collect the Christmas Lego village and I have uh three of the houses in the village because that's all they've released so far i also have santa's sleigh um but they were supposed to release the home alone lego like the house the McAllister, the McAllister house last year for the 30th anniversary of home alone and they didn't but they've released they're releasing it this year and it's so expensive you guys it's four hundred dollars but I want it so bad to add to my Christmas village because I add stuff every year to it so it's going on the list I definitely won't be able to afford that anytime soon and it's gonna sell out so crazy fast so I'm definitely not gonna be able to get it anytime soon I'll have to wait until it goes back into stock because these types of things on the Lego website sell out like same day basically and then go into back order so that's what's on my list at the moment now let's go into expenses so um groceries i've already done groceries they are coming today um i do delivery so there's that and my share of the groceries was $52.05 so that the full amount that is coming out it came out of my bank account today so when Nate gets home from work he just needs to transfer over his half um, and that's all I'm putting on there so far because oh actually no I lied putting washi gang on there because I've already spent that as well so washi gang came out today as well which was 38.19 oh and rent because i have done rent as well um so 197.50 perfect so that's all the expenses i've got so far um, I'm going to put Starbucks on there as well because I am getting Starbucks today. Um, obviously, I don't know how much it is yet, but I'm getting that afterwards. So that's it. That's all I've got this week, you guys. Um, we'll see how we go this week. Obviously, you can see like 
based on like what last week looked like to what it looks like this week, it looks like there's less. It does, but there's not. There's just less money. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, this is basically it for this week so far. Um, like I said, I'm not the greatest with money, you guys. So don't take really anything I say super seriously. Um, and I'm learning. It's just, money's just not my strong point and it's also never been a good habit of mine I was never ever taught to handle money in a good way so um, I will get there I will get there eventually but this is just how things are and I'm learning I make lots of lots of mistakes all the time um, but it's a learning process and I learn from these mistakes and eventually I will become better um, if you are still interested in my budgeting videos, um, I have filmed my November monthly budget as well, so um, I'm in the process of editing that, so hopefully by the time this one goes up, the November one will be up next after this. Um, uh, so I'll leave that there for you as well and then like I said before you know if you are interested in the inserts that I use I do sell them on my Etsy store do not feel obligated to buy them if you don't want to but if you do I will greatly greatly appreciate any support you want to give my Etsy store I am doing 10% off everything in my store at the moment there are only three sets in there at the moment because like I said I just opened it back up I am currently working on more inserts that will be going in there but I have 10% off everything that's in there at the moment so you can get this budget tracker here for 10% off you can also get I will show you what the monthly one looks like just quickly um, okay let me just flip to so this is what the monthly one looks like. It's very similar to the weekly, but it's obviously set up for the monthly bills. Um, so if you are interested in this, I do sell this one as well. And then I also sell my Christmas inserts. So if you are wanting to get some inserts to help you plan for Christmas, those are in there as well. Um, these are the budget um, tracker and then the monthly budget tracker is I believe $3.99 um, that's Australian dollars per printable but like I said you can get 10% off and then the Christmas inserts are $12 for the set because there is quite a lot of printables in that and then you get $12 off of that so anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye